Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five wild edibles that you can harvest here in the Pacific Northwest. These wild edibles are things that you can find in your backyard and on the trail. I'm not going to be talking about any mushrooms today. While mushrooms are a wild edible, that is going to be its very own video because my husband is really well versed in mushrooms and so come mushroom season in the early fall, I'm going to take him out and film a special mushroom video with him. The first wild edible that I'm going to be talking about today is the fiddlehead fern. Depending on where you live, you have probably seen these in your backyard, your local park, and of course they are very abundant on the trails. So ferns, as you can see, are very abundant here in the Pacific Northwest. It's a little late for fiddlehead harvest, depending on the elevation. It's usually like February, but you can see these are the ferns and they kind of curl up like that in the early stages of their growth. I can insert a photo, but you can harvest those and uh, eat them. If you come to a place like this, for example, where there are thousands of ferns, you could harvest the fiddleheads and get really lucky. They're a delicacy. They are super delicious. Uh, they can be cooked like asparagus. You can steam them or saute them stuff like that. They have to be cooked before eaten though, so make sure to steam or saute them. Some of their medicinal properties are they are really high in vitamin C and A, and they help the body create new red blood cells. The next wild edible that I will be talking about is old man's beard. Old man's beard is super common here, and you've probably seen it on many of your hikes growing on some of those big old growth trees. So this is old man's beard. It's very fresh, uh, it's very soft. Usually you see it um, in the woods, it's very dried out, but this is very fresh. And this is the kind of thing that you would use if you have uh, bronchitis. They would use old man's beard to make tea and cure bronchitis. It's also good for antiseptic for uh, wounds. So it, let's say I had a wound out here in the middle of nowhere and didn't have my first aid kit or you know ran out of my uh, ointment in my first aid kit you can use this but again it does have to be the fresh kind it cannot be the dried old man's beard that you sometimes see on the trail it has to be fresh old man's beard is also known as wizard's beard and you can harvest this year round and make tinctures or teas to aid with healing lung or upper respiratory infections it also heals kidney and bladder infections the next wild edible is the dandelion, which most of you are probably familiar with. It grows in pretty much everyone's backyard, local parks, and just on the side of the road. You can harvest the dandelions at any point during their lifespan. However, the leaves are the tastiest when harvested before the flowers bloom. You can steam the leaves like kale or spinach, or you can eat them raw in a salad. The flowers are usually used to make tea. You can also harvest and eat the stems and the roots of dandelions. Some of their medicinal properties are they are rich in vitamin C and A, as well as potassium, and they are an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. The dandelion also stimulates digestion. Huckleberries are truly a joy to come across on the trail. They are super, super abundant in the Oregon forest, generally in the month of August. So even though there's snow, there's still huckleberries. And they're really big too. These are some of the biggest ones I've seen. They're like the size of blueberries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. We're assuming this is what the bear was eating. Mmm. Look at the size of that one. I was oh, just gonna say that. Wow, yeah. that's a big one. Wow. That's the biggest one yet. It's amazing how this that's tiny cool. bush can have so many. Some of their medicinal properties are they are super high in vitamin C and huckleberries are known to lower cholesterol and protect against heart disease, glaucoma, and even ulcers. 
Wild onions are also something that can sprout up in your backyard and you might think of them as just weeds, but you can actually eat them. I found these particular young onion starts here in my very own backyard in mid-March. They can be harvested now or you can wait until later and you can harvest and eat the flowers, leaves, roots, and the bulbs. So this is what the wild onions look like once you've harvested them. They grow down really, really deep. So if you just pull on the stem, they will break off and look like that and you won't actually get... You can still eat this part, but you won't actually get the wild onion. This is what they look like. They're pretty small, but they definitely grow bigger. These are just young sprouts that were growing in my yard. They're generally weeds, so we do pull them. You can um, use these just like you would any other onion. Some of their medicinal properties are they are an anti-asthmatic, antioxidant, and they have been known to reduce blood pressure. Thank you so much for watching this quick video about five wild edibles here in the Pacific Northwest. I would like to hear down in the comments below what some of your favorite wild edibles are. If you don't already, go follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post pictures of all of my recent hiking adventures. And if you're interested in hiking and backpacking here in this lovely state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find a ton of trail information there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next adventure.